stars and the sun and thy kingdom from heaven and thy land on the earth at Bethlehem I had my birth. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 to 13. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may drink and eat and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God.
happy new year. So many of us have been waiting for the end of that awful year, haven't we? 2020 was certainly a year for the history books as we watch people from our planet suffering from a virus parasite that is so vicious. Economies have crumbled and lives have been lost and compromised. We are giving thanks to God today for the gift of science and medicine that has been our saving grace as we fight against the disease and to try to regain some normalcy in our lives. 2020 was a year of misery for some of us, yet others seem to thrive. Some businesses have thrived due to COVID, like the big box stores and online shopping conglomerates. I have talked to some of my introverted friends who, are, who have been generally unfazed by having to be locked away from others. Then there are others like myself, eternal optimists and rose-colored glasses wearers, who, through the difficulty of it all, manage to focus on the positives of the time that we've been presented with. I personally managed to make some good lemonade from all the lemons of 2020. And so it's the new year, a new calendar time, often seen as a time for newness and renewal, a time for new attitudes and practices, a time for resolutions and plans. Our scripture today is calling us to reflect on where we are in our life journey. It's calling us to ask, what time is it in my life? It's affirming to us that whatever time it is in our lives, it's the correct time. And that time will shift and change and make way for another time, another period in our life journey. So what time is it in your life right now? Is it a time to celebrate, a time to grieve something or someone? Is it a time to be reflective or a time for intentional action? Is it a time for taking a stand against something or someone? Is it a time for passivity? Perhaps it doesn't matter what time it is in your life, Perhaps you're just going with the flow, seeing how everything plays out, and that's okay. What time is it? What time is it in your life? You know, whatever time it is on the calendar or on the clock in your house may not necessarily align with your life journey time. This may be a difficult time, a scary time, a, a time of scarcity, but that'll change. Now at this time, when a different period surfaces in your life journey, God is and will be there. And that is what we hold on to as we maneuver through this new year on our life journeys. Whatever time it is in your life, God is with you. And for that, we celebrate. We say thanks be to God. Amen.
God of time and space, we thank you for all the tides of our lives. We thank you that time shifts and changes for all of us in different ways. We ask that you strengthen our resolve to push through our times of hardships and strife so that we may see and welcome and bask in the times of joy and celebration. We thank you for helping us through all the ages and stages of our lives to see this day. We pray for those who, even if it's their time of happiness and peace, cannot see and claim this time for varying reasons. We raise them up to you, O God. Stay near. Guide us through this calendar year as you always have. Amen. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind, should old acquaintance be forgot and days of all anxiety. Happy New Year, Bedford family. Happy New Year.